Hello people and welcome to Soul Calibur 6. We are going to be playing, um, which one is it? I believe Mission Libra of Soul. I believe that is what we're going to be doing. Like, I will do story also, but I just want to try out the mission first, you know. The ray of light from the evil seed pierced the sky. Its glow reaching as far as India. And here, we find another person whose fate was entwined with the two swords. Consumed by the evil seed, yet still with presence of mind. A link between chaos and this world. You are quite the interesting one. Still, you will eventually succumb to the chaos unless you engrave a clear image of yourself onto your soul okay so this is where we go to the character like the character at create army isn't the master class you could oh why is the mouse on the screen go away mal create a character like oh we have to create a new character so we can we have a bunch of options here we're probably going to be We have a bunch of options. I'm probably going to go with Lost Soul. Just because they come with wings. Someone's hoovering. That's great. We're going to have Tall. We're going to have Skinny Boy. We're going to give him nice size. <laughs> oh, jeez. We're going to give him some pectoral. Um, face. Oh, the face actually fine right now. Hmm. I look like a cosplay Sephiroth. Yeah, I like that. And let's get some thin brows. I won't hold back. I won't hold back. I won't hold back. Oh, wrong way, utterly. I won't hold back. 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 Okay, that's nice. I'm guessing that's all we can do. Okay, so nothing too amazing. But I like it. I like it. It's, I'm guessing we can add some armor later on. I wonder if like it will unlock stuff as we go along. You know, I think he needs a bit more thigh. I think he needs a bit more thigh. <laughs> uh, that's a joke. A bit more chest as well. Not too much chest though, just spit to my chest. Actually, yeah. There we go, 15. Finished editing. Now we can pick a weapon. We have we have fish few options. What's this? Oh, I was actually looking for this weapon in like a um, regular character pair and I couldn't find it. I'm guessing. Like, we also have regular sword and shield. Like, it's weird. Like, I wish there was a sword and great shield option, but there isn't. You know, I actually like the disc. We 
We could also go for the most useless weapon in the history of martial arts, people. The nunchuck. There's also the giant katana. Chinese sword. I'm not sure that's a Chinese sword, but... Oh no, actually it is. Is there no just regular giant katana? Like there's ninja sword, which I forget the name of. There's... Oh wow, they actually got the katana right. You know, they didn't put an Uradachi there instead. I don't think the blade's curved enough, though, like, in terms of it. It looks like a straight sword on a katana hill, which is weird. Like, that top end should be a bit more flat. Oh, well. Oh, there's also a rod. Like, yeah, this looks more like a katana. Like, the first one says it's a katana, but that's pretty much just a weird straight sword. Like, that's an actual katana. And the Wadashi, no, w Wikidashi, Wikidashi is just a shorter version. Death Scythe. So I'm either going to go for the Scythe, the l small sword, large sword, the ring, or the l double long sword. I think I'm going to go for the DLC weapon. We're going to go Ultra Weave. And of course, going to always go for my fantasy character name, which is... Is that... I forget how to spell it. You know what, let's just go with a new name. I forget how to spell it, so we're just going to go with a new name. And we're going to go with... We're going to go with Magic Miracle, or Magical in a very weird spell. And confirm. It's just easier that way. If you can keep a hold of who you are, you will be able to stave off the chaos. Now arise. Take up your weapon and fight. Your life depends on it. No, anyway, I have no idea what it's going to be like. This is completely blind playthrough. Okay, so we only get conversion. I wonder if we can, like, unlock more gear. Already a better introduction than an Elden Ring. I'm making a joke, obviously. Okay, so next. When I woke up, my head was pounding. Maybe it was a nightmare I had, but I barely could catch my breath or stop shaking. You're finally awake. It seems you have quite the nightmare. A man in a hood stood at my side. His appearance suggested someone quite, but strong will. Quiet, but strong will. My name is Zhang I'm not going to call you Z because I cannot pronounce names. My name is Z. And I know what happened to you. You were greatly affected by the evil seed. You escaped becoming a manifested. But I'm afraid you may not escape death. Ask about the evil seed. It is a great evil that burst from the Western Europe. Burst from Western Europe as a torrent of light and rained down around the world. The manifested. These are beings whose bodies and minds have been twisted by evil. 
Symptoms vary, but some are known to become monsters. Many manifested lose all sense of reason, become violent and attack people. Lucky for you, fate put you on a different path. I swear the nightmare and headache. Your body does not appear to have been altered by the evil seed. However, it seems to have affected your soul, linking it to what is called the Astral Chaos. The Astral Chaos is a curious realm where powers where great powers collide. In time, it will consume your soul, resulting in your death. Your nightmares and headache are a sign of what is to come. I guess that's all. If you wish to continue living, come with me. I will teach you how to extend your life. My news, itchy. The next area to Journey's Dawn is the dojo of Doran. A master, a master, a martial art master. Here you can play the battle tutorial Soul Calibur. Oh, so this is where the tutorial is located. Okay. Oh, that's, oh that, that's helpful. I learned of a highly respected martial arts instructor in India named Doran. Grace is the very model of a warrior, yet we don't have fist weapons. Like, sorry, I want to hit people with cestus. I made my way across the treacherous mountain pass and traveled crumbling ledges before finally reaching my destination. A dojo surrounded by burbling mountain stream. I have no idea what that means, burbling. Fun word though. To one side of the dojo, a diverse group of young warriors were enthusiastically practicing with weapons. Having come from far and wide, I heard many of them even came from royal or noble bloodlines, unlike their master's humble roots. Hey old traveller. What business do you have so deep in the mountains? I told him my name and why I had come to learn. Well, magic. Me I can't even pronounce my own cat's name. Well, magical. I never refuse anyone with the desire to learn. However, I live in seclusion because I have earned the eye of the local key. If you stay, you may find yourself with a powerful enemy. Are you sure about this? I nodded and he continued. Very well, I will train you. But before we begin, I would like to see your skill. I have some basic understanding of the controls, of course I don't have much. Look at my movement, it's so fierce. I'm guessing I already did that. Okay. Okay, yep. No, it is nice to have a bit more of a clear explanation of what to do. Excuse me, what? So back and down. Okay. Oh! 
Oh, that isn't what I meant to do. Oh, this is awkward. How do you parry? Okay. Oh, I thought I got that. Oh, okay. That didn't go how I want it. Oh, this is difficult. Oh, so you have to time it for when they start attacking. That makes sense. Okay, that's actually really cool. Like, I do have a thing that, like, changes all the button inputs to, like, PS4, um, PS5 controls. Because it's just generally easier for me to understand. I guess when the soul charge runs out is when Oh yeah, I was thinking like why isn't it clear do it need to wait for it to fully go out You also can perform powerful techniques called fierce attacks while the soul charge is in effect You can view the list of fierce attacks each character has by selecting gauge attacks on the move list Additionally, there are special attacks called soul attacks that can be used against soul charge while launching the first soul attack is down angle forward R2 Okay. I wish we could like test that final one, but My turn. Oh yeah, this moveset's very fluid. I'm guessing heavy ones have less to do with moveset. Like, yeah, that moveset's a lot more fluid than usual. It could be because it's a DLC moveset, or it could just be that it's a quicker paced moveset, so it's more fluid. You appear to have fast fastered, mastered basic fine techniques. Master Doron's expression grew clouded. Let me tell you a story. When I first began my training, I had a fellow disciple who was slightly older and always looked down on me. I wanted to prove myself against him, so I learned a powerful technique. Yet, when the time came, I still could not defeat him. Turned out I was unable to actually use the technique when the chance came. My folly became evidence. Instead of focusing on learning a flash technique, I should have improved on my fundamental skills. So I dedicated myself to practicing the fundamentals. When I was satisfied, I went to challenge him again, but I was too late. He had lost his life in a war against a, harb against a neighboring kingdom. This man had a son who claimed vengeance against the one who stole his father only half a year later. Now he's a warrior even more skilled than his father was. Take this letter of introduction. If you ever have the chance, you should pay him a visit. I took Master Dolan's letter and thanked him. And left the dojo behind. Really, that's it? We just learned the basics and we move on? Okay. No, I'm guessing we have to go through the entire dojo. Okay. It's good to see you again. 
Master Doran greeted me with a warm smile when I, as I, when I arrived at the dojo. What do I owe the pleasure? Can you train, perhaps? If so, I applaud your dedication. Today, I will try and teach you about the many different attacks you can apply in battle. So this is pretty much just going to be an introduction episode, so we're going to go through all the tutorial and then we'll move on to the next one. But for now, this entire episode is just going to be the introduction. So it might be slightly longer because the next ones will be a bit shorter. Okay, so you have to use... Dual button attacks. <laughs> oh my goodness. Once more. Ah, Once more. <laughs> oh, that pose was hilarious. Okay, I guess it's not side dodge because usually they have a side dodge, but not really there. Ready? Oh, okay, that's cool. Grab, stab, kick, back spin, kick, send him flying. Okay, so I can just click the bumpers and triggers to do that. Okay, simple, simple. That is all I know about attack types. Next, I'll teach you about the effects you can inflict on your opponent during your attack. Okay, so that's a quick part that we can get through quickly without worry. And now we'll do attack in two. Offense is not about attacking wildly. In order to claim victory against a skilled foe, you must know when and where to use what technique. So let us begin your next lesson. Okay. I'm enjoying myself right now, I'm going to say. I'm very much enjoying it. Let this be really fun. Attacking your opponent as they form certain actions will counter a hit. Of course, with heavier weapons, that ain't as easy to do, but I imagine, like, with lighter weapons, it is. Okay, so we have to get our butt work. Crushing an opponent's guard. Continue and attack your opponent as they go. will cause your opponent's health gauge to begin flushing your own event. You ready to attack your opponent whilst ready will crush their guard. Okay, that took a bit long, I would say. How do I do this? Oh, 
Was that it? So we got interrupt. Okay. Well, that that seems like a pretty useless thing to do. Is that from in Tetris situation? What's that? Did he lose his hat? I swear he had a hat on. Like he's losing clothing. I swear. Oh yeah, he lost his headband. That phases through his hair. You're growing more skill, but as you continue to advance, you'll no doubt eventually find yourself against an insurmountable wall. Let me tell you a story from my past. When I was young, I traveled the world as a interrant warrior. One day, I was in the distant north of the Ming Empire in a place called Xinyuan. I can't pronounce names. Northwest piece. Me looked at me puzzled. Is it really? Well, wherever it may be, I was there. And let me tell you, there was a tribe of fierce warriors. It was during my time with them that I met Hong Yu. Hong was a strong and beautiful young woman. Her slender limbs wield a blade with great finesse, and her strikes were quick as lightning. She could fend off any attack nimbly and moving like a young willow tree in the breeze. I really fell in love with her. However, she told me that she could never love me unless I best her in combat. In a contest of strength, I beat her easily, but her defense was impenetrable. My attacks were blocked, buried, or avoided. I couldn't even touch her. That's because I had not yet learnt to pierce a tainted foe's defense. I have learned a thing or two since then, such as the effectiveness of a throw against an opponent who rarely lets their guard down, and that there are special techniques that break through any guard. Back, but back then, she defeated me and said she had no interest in the week. I left, trained as hard as I could, and eventually returned to face her again. Unfortunately, she had already wed another. If you ever pass through, it'll do well to see her skill for yourself. I'm sure that experience will come in handy. If I were to take his advice to heart, I'd left the dojo. As you can see, my grammar is slowly failing when read it. Dothians. It seems he's a pretty quick, so we can skim through these very quick. I visit the dojo to find Doan at the gate. Seeing off another visitor. Take care. Don't oversell the skills you learn here got it yes master thank you so much for everything i promise one day i'll come back to visit with those parting words doan's student bowed and began trudging down the mountain path away from the dojo so to keep you waiting back for more training are you well come on in when i asked about the man who just left who come from the desert in the northern reaches of the ming empire <coughs> On my way home from my romantic defeat at the hands of Hong, a man saved my life in the desert. The student you just saw came through here on that man's the student you just saw came here on that man's recommendation. I feel like this guy's making up quite a bit, or he's got terrible memory. Either way, he's teaching us the basics. <laughs> Spin me right round, baby, right round. Okay, enough of that. Oh! Okay, I did dodge the attack, but... So weak. So weak. Okay, so you have to time it perfectly. Okay. Yeah, this game is more complicated than I thought.
No, really, ducking seems kind of useless. Okay. Okay, got that. I will. I will. I will. Uh, okay, when you grab by your opponent. Oh, I, I clicked it game Okay, so it's not letting me count and I'm an infinite loop Okay oh, It won't let me do anything I'm an infinite loop of uncountable Because the timing's so tiny Literally, I'm clicking it game Again, I clicked him and nope Again, I clicked it, but no. Oh, plus. Okay, I clicked the game. You want to work? Screw you. I clicked it, game! I clicked it again! Work! Yes! Uh, uncountable. Like, this is broken. I'm countering, by the way. Click. See what I mean? <laughs> Literally dead on the mark. The game does not let me counter. It's literally just unblock. This is busted. Fix your stupid game. No counter option. Okay, I just took L1 and that worked. I have no idea what that means. It's a bunch of text. That means nothing to me. But yeah, L1 apparently works. But we're good. Those are the fundamentals of defense. The lessons after this will be much harder. Yeah, and that was utter nonsense at the end there. Defense too. <coughs> oh, my throat. Evading an attack is entirely you... Is entirely... Entirely is usually be the best option. But in a serious battle, you don't always have the luxury. When pressed hard by an dangerous opponent, what do you do? Well, I'll teach you some techniques that'll help you grasp victory in the jaws of defeat. Yes, I do speak English. Okay, I clicked it. Okay, this doesn't work. Okay, I... I clicked it again. Click. 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 Oh, game, you have terrible. Okay, so. It's better just to mash the button because it won't work otherwise. Like, you literally just gotta mash. 
No, it was not working when I tried anything else. Okay. Well, these are useful techniques. It's just I'll probably find most of them useless because I'm not a timing machine. Like, a lot of these feel like you have to sort of forcefully... You're like... Like, you have to... Li Okay, so... I suck at timing! It doesn't help you to stare for a long period. He did... He, he, What can I do if he doesn't go for the reverse impact? This is a nightmare on earth. I clicked the button, but okay. Okay, so it wants me to do it in between instead of... Okay. Okay. Well, that looks like the end of it there. After, this, after the fight, Doan had a nostalgia look on his face and he the story from earlier. To be quite honest, I have a habit of accidentally going somewhere else, entirely different from where I intended. This is how I ended up wandering for three days and nights in the Gobai Desert. I was on my last legs when a merchant caravan found me. They took me to Kushja, where I met an, one incredible fellow. His name was Klish. He was a weaponsmith and one talented warrior. He could fight with any weapon and any style under the sun. In battle, he was relentless, giving his opponent very little opportunity to act. He always said he fought to test out the weapons he made. It was hard to believe he thought of fighting so casually. I had never met a fiercer warrior. If only I had known how to deflect attacks when I was on the defensive, I might have been able to put him off balance. Alas, it was all I could do to block his attacks at time. And before I knew it, I was defeated. If you're in Kushka, I recommend you go see Klish. He is an expert warrior and a first rate, rate weaponsmith. You won't regret meeting him. A weaponsmith? He sounds like someone I'd like to meet. I decided to keep Dolan's advice recommendation on mine.
I believe. Oh my goodness, it's. Okay, we're still here, so. I'm thinking we will probably um, actually end it here just because it's been 40 minutes. And we'll be here forever if we go through all the tutorials in one episode. So next time we'll continue with the tutorials and we'll do a bit more. I hope you enjoyed this. So people like, comment, subscribe, share all that. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Peace.